Praise be to Allah, the Lord of the worlds, and blessings on my grandfather, the chief of divine prophets. O Yazid, Allah says, and his word is true, that then evil was the end of those who did evil because they rejected the communications of Allah and used to mock them. O Yazid, do you believe that you have succeeded in closing the sky and the earth for us and that we have become your captives just because we have been brought before you in a row and that you have secured control over us? Do you believe that we have been afflicted with insult and dishonor by Allah and that you have been given honor and respect by him? You have become boastful of this apparent victory that you have secured and you have started feeling jubilant and proud over this prestige and honor. You think that you have achieved worldly good and that your affairs have become stable and our rule has fallen into your hands. Wait for a while. Do not be so joyful. Have you forgotten Allah's saying, the unbelievers should not carry the impression that the time allowed to them by us is good for them? Surely we give them time so they may increase their evil deeds, and eventually they will be given insulting chastisement. O oh, son of freed slaves, is this your justice that you keep your own daughters and slave maids veiled while the daughters of the Prophet of Allah are being paraded from place to place, exposed? You have dishonored us by unveiling our faces. Your men take us from town to town where all sorts of people, whether they be residents of the hills or of riversides, have been looking at us the near as well as the remote ones, the poor as well as the rich, the low as well as the high, all casting their glances at us while our position is such that there is no male relative of ours to render us help or support. O oh, Yazid, whatever you have done proves your revolt against Allah and your denial of his prophet, of the book and sunnah that the Holy Prophet brought from Allah. Your deeds should not cause amazement because of one whose ancestors chewed the livers of the martyrs, whose flesh grew up on virtuous people, who fought against the chief of divine prophets, who mobilized parties for fighting against him and drew swords against him, excel all Arabs in unbelief, sinfulness, excesses, and enmity against Allah and his prophets, peace be upon him. Remember that the evil deeds and sinful actions that you have committed are the result of unbelief and old rancor you bear because of your ancestors who were killed in Badr. One who casts his glance of enmity, malice and rancor upon us does not lag behind in practicing enmity against us. He proves his unbelief, declares it with his tongue and jubilantly proclaims, I have killed the sons of the Prophet of Allah, peace be upon him, and made his progeny captive, and wishes that his ancestors had lived to see his achievement, and have exclaimed, O oh, Yazid, may your hands not lose their strength. You have wreaked good vengeance on our behalf. Oh Yazid, you are striking the lips of Imam Hussein with your stick in front of this crowd, while these very lips used to be kissed by the Prophet of Allah, peace be upon him. And yet your face reflects pleasure and happiness. By my life, by killing the chief of youths of paradise, the son of the chief of Arabs, Ali, and the shining son of the progeny of Abdul Muttalib, you have deepened our wound and uprooted us completely. By killing Hussein ibn Ali, you have gained nearness to the state of your unbelieving ancestors. You proclaim your deed with pride. And if they were to see you, they would approve of your action and pray that Allah may not paralyze your arms. O oh, Yazid, 
If you had heart enough to take account of your nefarious deeds, you yourself would surely wish your arms to be paralyzed and severed from your elbow. And you would wish that your parents had not given birth to you because you would know that Allah has become displeased with you. Allah grant us our rights. Punish those who have oppressed us. Oh Yazid, you did what you wished. But remember that you have cut your own skin and your own flesh to pieces. Soon you will be brought before the Holy Prophet. You will be overburdened with the weight of your sins committed by shedding the blood of his progeny and by dishonoring his family. The place to which you will be taken will be before all the members of his family. The oppressed will be avenged and the enemies will be punished. O oh Yazid, it is not seeming for you to swell with joy after slaying the Prophet's progeny. Reckon not those who are killed in Allah's way is dead. Nay, they are alive and are provided sustenance from their Lord, rejoicing in what Allah has given them out of his grace. Allah, is sufficient to deal with you. The Messenger of Allah is your antagonist and Hadrat Jibrail is our support and help against you. Those who have made you the head of state and burdened the Muslims with your leadership will soon find out what awaits them. The end of all tyrants is agony. O oh Yazid, I speak not to you thus to warn you of the severe chastisement in store for you so that you should be regretful. For you are one of those whose hearts are hardened, souls are rebellious, and whose bodies are busy in Allah's disobedience, while they are under the curse of the Prophet of Allah. You are from among those in whose heart Satan has made his abode and has been breeding young ones. How amazing it is that the virtuous people, sons of the divine prophets and vicegerents are killed at the hands of the liberated slaves. Evil doers and sinners, our blood is shed by their hands and our flesh serves as food for them. We feel grieved for those whose bodies are lying unshrouded and unburied in the battlefield, wounded with arrows. O oh Yazid, if you consider our defeat as your achievement, then you will have to pay its price. Allah commits no injustice to his servants. Our reliance is on Allah. He alone is our relief and place of protection, and in him alone do we repose our hope. You may contrive and try however much you can by him who honored us with revelation, the book and prophethood. You cannot achieve our status, nor reach our position, nor can you affect our mention, nor remove from yourself that shame and dishonor that is now your lot because of perpetrating excess and oppression on us. Your word now is weak and your days are counted. Beware of the day when the announcer would announce the curse of Allah on the oppressors and the unjust. Praise be to Allah who gave good end to his friends and granted them success in their aims and thereafter called them back to his mercy pleasure and bliss while you hurled yourself into evil and mischief by committing injustice against them we pray to Allah to favor us with full recompense through them and grant us the good of Khilafa and Imama surely Allah is kind and the most merciful over his creatures